everybody. Welcome to the Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really do. So today, I'll be using the first Murphy's and McNeil product I ever purchased, and it's Barbershop de los Muertos. Here it is. Look at that label. True work of art. Here is the side label. Very nice. And again, my first uh, Murphy's and McNeil experience. So let's take a sniff. It does smell like a barbershop. A little dark. I get some orange. I get powder, I get sweetness. Very, very nice. It is the, um, which base is it? It is the Aeon base. Here's the pour. Hard soap, relatively hard. Okay, lather is done, and let me show you what we're using for this shave. Razor from Rod George. Take a look at the work in this razor. All the skulls. I think that goes very well with this soap. What a beautiful razor. Brass, open comb head, loaded with a feather blade. Thanks, Rod, for a beautiful razor. And we're using a brush from Mojo Handcrafts. This one is a little shorter than the size it usually makes, but look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous brush also goes well with this particular soap. Okay, so here's the lather, and let's try Murphy and McNeil for the first time. Let's get the face wet. We're gonna put on some PAA mentholated star jelly pre-shave. That's enough. Okay, let's get this to the face. So medium off the puck, medium on the face. Mm. Look at the consistency of that lather, just excellent. Scent is incredible. Mm. The Mojo brush has a maggard, uh, super high density badger in it, 26 mm. And I think we're ready. Although, I could do this for an hour. But I won't. Okay, Rod George Designs, razor. Feather blade. I have one day of growth. Soap is very, very, very slick.
Parka shot to Los Muertos. What it translates to is Barbershop of Death. And it is the first of a series of three soaps. Got this from the wet shaving store. Lather up for Pass number two. What a great soap base this is. Nice. So tons of notes in this soap. I'm not going to read them all, but I will just uh, put them on the screen for you to look at. Scent is still medium. Very nice. All right. Pass number two. So I went to a ceramics party last month. A um, friend of ours had a birthday and they did a ceramics party for him. And we spent about an hour on initial instruction. And we had um, a bunch of free time to create some things of our own. And being the luxury shaving hobbyist, I had to create some shave bowls. And I think they came out okay. In fact, I used one of them today for the very first time. Built a nice lather in it. It's a great weight. It actually works. And I can't believe it. So let me show it to you real quickly here. Here's the bowl that I made in ceramics. Here's the inside with the grooves and all for the soap aeration. Here's the bottom with my name on it. So my first creation, and I'm amazed. Okay, lather up. For number three. So I'm really enjoying this soap. Fantastic base. Feels great. Okay, pass number three. 
Hope you're having a great week. Have plans this weekend to visit my sister. She was unable to make it over for the holidays. She wasn't feeling well, so we will exchange gifts this weekend. And I know she's got me some shaving stuff. She wanted a list of things that I wanted and I put the list together and I checked it twice. And she chose from that list and can't wait to see it. I got her some nice stuff too. So let's see how we did. Wow, pretty good. Couple of my usual trouble spots and we'll take care of that right now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna call this done. I've gotta tell you the residual slickness on this soap is absolutely incredible. I really noticed it when I did my touch up, but it's fantastic. Just great. So if you watched my channel before, you know that we don't waste any soap that might be left in the brush or the bowl. So we get it on the hands and we get it on the face one more time. Do it for a couple of reasons. First reason is it smells great and you can enjoy that scent a little longer. Second reason, it's good for your face. And third, if you've missed any spots, you can pick it up really easily. Didn't miss anything, so we're good to rinse off. Okay. How nice was that? What a great shave. 100% BBS. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now time for some witch hazel. Here it is, Dickinson's witch hazel. And this one is not scented. All you get is that witch hazel smell. Some people don't like that and they go for the scented ones, but I don't mind it at all. Okay, let's take a look at the splash. So this bottle is unbelievable. You look at the label in the front and you spin it around and look at the back of it. Pretty ingenious. Front, back. Bottle's gorgeous. Um, it almost feels like this is a leather piece on top. I'm thinking it's not leather, maybe it's vinyl, but it, it feels like leather. Gorgeous, gorgeous cap. Oh man, oh man, oh man. What can I say? Scent is up 10 notches actually from the soap. Absolutely incredibly good. I smell more of the orange now, actually. Fantastic. Fantastic with a capital F. 
So let's get the glasses back on and do a quick recap. We used Murphy and McNeil, Barbershop, Barbershop de los Muertos, Barbershop de los Muertos. Use the splash. We used a nice razor from Rod George Designs. I think it's stunning. We actually use a Smiles for Miles scooper for the soap. Here's the brush, Mojo Handcrafts. Brush, kind of clear on the bottom with the um, gold flakes there. And I think some red blood dripping through there as well, if you can see that. Very cool brush. Maggard uh, Knot, SHD. And we use the special Glen Shave Bowl. Special Glen Shave Bowl that I made. And there's my name to prove it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Really, really appreciate it. And hope things are going well for you. And see you next time. Take care.